So I just finished two of the three evening bags. You can see here's the copper, and then here's the silver one that we just finished. I've got one more, the gold. And um, this one is more of a square trapezoid shaped sort of um, evening bag. And um, I think this one's probably easier to put together. So let's take a look at what we have here. Here are the two sides um, to the actual evening bag. And um, we're going to start with one. And as always, I'm going to work, as, work flat as much as possible. I already folded everything, but I'm going to flatten it back out. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the little side pieces on here. Uh, I've got a total of four of these. Okay, now you're going to notice that um, they're shaped, they're not perfectly flat at the bottom. So you want to make sure that you match up the correct one with the correct side. The bottom's kind of angled a little bit. So when you get the right one in place, it will kind of follow that angle there at the bottom. So you want to make sure you get the right one in the right spot. And we're going to start with, I'm going to start with that. Now my glue bottle doesn't like the lack of humidity in the air right now. And it's kind of fighting me a little bit today, but it's okay. We'll win. We'll beat ya. All right. So just get some glue on this first little piece here. Again, make sure that you have the right one. We're going to lay this down like so. Just make sure you get it nice and centered. You should have a nice Nice even border going all the way around. Just do your best to get that as centered as possible. Okay, just like that. And before you put the glue on, make sure you get the right piece. Just like that. And let's get our glue on this next little piece here. Just like that. Now we're kind of using a, like a peach natural color here. If you get a little ex excess glue that pops out, this one is going to be a lot more forgiving. Okay, so there's the other one. Two down. Let's get the other ones in place here. Make sure you got the right one. Okay, just like that. And we're going to do a lot of piecing at first and then just kind of put it all together at the end. I think it just makes the most sense, especially if we can work flat, we're going to work flat as much as possible. Okay, get that nice and centered. Flatten it out. Okay. And the last one. Here we go. All right, now we are going to work on, we're going to work on the face, which is going to go here and here, okay? And you can kind of see that I've already, I'm going to fold this onto itself on the sides here like so, so that when I put the face on, I know that I have it in the right spot. Okay. So uh, the face is pretty straightforward. It's just these two pieces. We're gonna glue, in my case, I have a nice gold piece that's gonna go on top of this. I think this is a DCWV paper. Um, I don't remember which stack, but we'll, we'll try to include that information on the supply page. So um, very gently and very sparsely, let's get our glue on this piece here. Now this piece is almost, it's almost glossy on the back, so you don't need as much glue. And when you do use less glue on this, because it's not so quickly absorbing all the glue, you have a little more time to apply it before it starts to set. Now, obviously there's only one way that this goes on, just kind of follow the shape of our little trapezoid here and just lay that right on top Make sure that it's nice and flush all the way around and press that down. Give that a chance to set nicely. Now you can see that this paper, this paper is actually pre-embossed 
And I believe we got this at Michael's. Uh, we did not emboss this. This came like that, and then we just cut it. It's a very slight raise, so the ma machines shouldn't really have a problem cutting it. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side here with the other piece. I'm going very sparse with the glue here. Again, because it's not like a textured piece of paper where it just wants to absorb the heck out of the water. This is, this almost feels like plastic. So it'll stay on there and give us ample time to get it in place. And it does take a little bit longer to, to set, but that's okay. All right, so get that lined up. Oh boy. There we go. And just run your finger along the edges, make sure everything's nice and flush. And if you need to kind of nudge some things around, you can. You got plenty of time to do so. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna let this set for a second so that it's fully dry before we apply it. Um, we've got the little center part of our little handbag here. And we're gonna take these two pieces and we're gonna fold them at the score marks. We got two little tabs. We are not gonna glue the tabs together. We are only gonna glue these pieces back to back. So just a little bit of glue is gonna go a long way here. And I might have put a little bit too much on there, so I'm gonna just dab it off and kind of thin it out so that it adheres a lot quicker. Now, uh, one little tip here. If you are using like a gold foil like I am, um, you know, the white edge here isn't horrible, but you can always go in and let me find my, I've got, I've got some dew drop inks that are gold. You can literally just kind of just hit the edges with this gold ink to hide that white and make it look a little more seamless. And if you get a little bit onto the surface of the gold, it'll just kind of give it a little two-toned look, almost like it's aged a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does hide it a little bit. Okay, so we've got those two glued back to back, and then we're gonna take these little pieces, almost look like a pacifier. I know I'm, it's kind of silly sometimes when I call things, I don't know, maybe things that they're really not, but it's the first thing I think of. Okay, so the bottom of this, the flat part, is gonna go flush up against where um, that tab begins. Okay, now this is gonna be, this is gonna be uh, a little difficult for me here because I'm gluing cardstock onto foil with a raised surface. So if you're doing the same, be patient. This is going to take a few extra minutes, or maybe just an extra minute to really set and stick. Um, that seems to be holding on pretty well, though. Okay, so repeat the same thing on the other side. Just get that down. Just remember not to glue down or glue the tabs together. We're going to need those to anchor this piece to the final bag during the construction at the end here. Okay. So just get that nice and aligned, just butting up against that little score mark so that when you spread these open, okay, um, it's not encroaching over that little score mark area. Okay, so there's the little center part. And while we're at it, doing all our little paper piecings here, we've got the little buckles here that are gonna hold the little uh, handle in place. And the concept on this is going to be very similar. We're going to take two of these and glue them back to back. I'm going to put a little mayo here in the center of our sandwich. And just line that up so that it matches nicely. And let that set. Do not glue the tabs together. We want them to be free. Okay. There we go. So those are together now. And next we can take our little gold pieces and glue those right onto this section here. So 
get your glue right onto this piece here and just pop that right on there. Just making sure that the center is nice and lined up and that it's nice and flush around the perimeter. A nice little gold, gold straps or buckles or whatever you want to call them. I am not completely familiar with the anatomy of an evening bag, as you can imagine. My closet lacks evening bags, but I'm super excited to make them for you because I know you guys love them. I know my mom loves them. She's got a, she might have a few. All right, Ma. All right. Um, so again, you know, there's a, there's a white core showing through here. I might just hit that with a little bit of gold ink just to kind of hide it a little bit. And again, not overly concerned that the tone doesn't match perfectly. It still will hide it. It won't be as noticeable. There we go. Okay, so one done. Let's do another one. Again, we're just kind of gluing these back to back. Just think about that scene in Forrest Gump where him and Bubba are back to back. That's kind of what's happening here. And it's funny because actually I think the color of this paper is called shrimp. <laughs> Yep. Weird. Okay. Anyway. Uh, all right. So throw a little bit of glue on the face of one side and then get your, get your gold piece right on there. Just making sure again, not to obstruct the cut in the center, get those nice and lined up. Okay. Get your other one on there and bam. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that's that. And we've got our little buckles here done. That little centerpiece is done. Um, what we can do next is put together the little strap that's going to go on top. Okay. And to do that, um, simply, actually, I think it's best to just start in the middle where we have the uh, little slit for where this little center thing is going to go. And let's get that aligned nicely. First off, it's going to be the most important. Get it nice and centered, nice and flat. Okay, and then you can just push that down on your table, on your surface. Okay, there we go. And then you can take this piece and glue that down. Just like that. And this little center here, this little cutaway with the scallops. We're gonna throw a little uh I'm gonna throw a little rhinestone on there. Now again, this is a white core, and because we folded it, it's kind of creased. I may take a little bit of gray ink and just touch that up just to clean it up a little bit. All right, now. Uh, we've got this piece here, and this piece is going to get glued onto this section here as flush to the top as possible without going over, just to make it look seamless. Okay, so just line it up and right up to the fold, basically. I'll fold that in half to make it easier to press. And there we go. Okay, so there's our top. <clears throat> now we're gonna put this off to the side for a minute while we work on our handle. Okay, so here is our handle. We ha still have this square. This square is gonna hide. Uh, actually, you know what? That's not where the handle goes. We can actually do this now. This little piece here that we put together, we're gonna slide it through. And then we're gonna take these tabs and spread them out and glue these tabs to the underside of this piece here. So just put one little dot of glue underneath each tab and then just spread these out and push them up flat against this piece here. Make sure it's nice and centered so that the top looks like that. And just give that a press. I got a little glue on my fingers from doing that, but that's all right. And now this is where our little square comes in. That is gonna hide this piece nicely for us. 
So we can throw a little bit of glue onto this section here. Just like that. And just pop that in place. Get it nice and centered, nice and even. And it's just gonna pretty it up. Make everything look nice and polished. Okay, so there's our strap. Pretty much ready to go. We'll get that in place here shortly. And let's put our handle together and then we can start piecing this thing together. All right, so start with, in my case, the shrimp color, okay? Now you'll notice that down here, uh, there's a, on one piece, it's rounded and there's a series of two sets of score marks, okay? And that's gonna go underneath our little buckle and that's going to act as well, the part that kind of holds everything together. Um, and that's, we're gonna overlap that over the other side in just a moment here. Uh, but first, we want to, we're gonna get these two pieces glued together to kind of make them one, okay? All right, so grab the piece that is shorter and doesn't have the little round ends and get your glue on this piece here. Try to get it out to the edges in as many little spots as you can. Okay, and line it up. And you have to kind of nudge it around a little bit just to get it in the right spot. They should meet down at the bottom where that first score mark begins. That's how you know you got it pretty much in the right spot. I got one side in the right spot and the other side's a little short, which means that I think I got the angle just slightly off, but I can't, I can't really tell up here, so I'm not overly concerned about it. I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, now um, you can see here that this gold piece, one side's longer and it's got the little score marks on it. That's gonna go on this side, obviously. This piece here is gonna go on the shorter side. And you wanna make sure that you just get it nice and centered. There's really no, uh, nothing special to this. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, there we go. Get it nice and centered. And now there are actually um, some little indicators here and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a dip here. So that's kind of where you want to align that it's to guide you make sure you get that part in place correctly and there we go that's how that should look and that's how that should look and you can see now with the foil if you get a little bit of glue on your fingers and you press it down it does kind of show it uh, if you want to clean that off get a very 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 lightly uh, uh, not a very wet rag, just slightly, slightly damp rag to clean that off. All right, now we've got a little overlay that's gonna go right up at the top here. Remember that little dip that was on this gold piece? The center of this is gonna match up with that dip. The rest of it will ultimately fall into place. Okay, so let's just kind of align that dip. And then the rest of it, you can notice here that it just kind of conforms to the shape. Okay, it's a nice little, nice little touch. And that looks nice. Okay, so that's good. Let's flip this over and we'll get the other gold piece in place. Now, um, add your glue and apply your glue uh, above the tabs, or not the tabs, but the little score marks there at the bottom where this thing's gonna curl around to create the little handle. So don't go below the little score marks there. So let's get this in place. Again, try to align that with the little with the little marks that we have there for you to help you with the alignment. Make sure this gets nice and centered too. Okay. That looks good. Perfect. All right. And let's add our little overlay at the top. There we go. And again, just follow that little dip there in the center 
first and foremost, and then the rest of it should kind of conform to a little shape there of the handle. Now again, you can see I've got up here especially, I have a lot of white core showing. I may just want to hit that with a little bit of gold ink just to kind of make everything gel a little bit more color-wise. The white's not horrible though when you know in contrast to the uh, to the gold. I'm not worried about it too much. Okay. All right, so our handle pretty much done. Now, this little section here where you've got the score marks, you want to want to fold this over first uh, before you put any glue on anything just to kind of make sure that it's sitting right. Okay, you can see how Okay. So you can see how this little gold piece here is going to get glued on to that little section there, okay? And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to wait to do this until the bag is more constructed. So here is the main structure here. And actually, before we start assembling this, uh, let me take a look at something real quick here. Now what you'll notice is one side has a larger slit cut into this little tab here. The handle is actually going to go into, well, one side of the tabs for the handle, uh, not the handle, but the little buckles here are going to go in like that, or like this, I should say. We'll do that. Well, I'll show you when we get there, but just be conscious of the fact that although these look identical, there's a light, slight difference in one of them, okay? Just FYI for now. All right. Um, Let's put the let's put the nice decorative panel on here. Okay, I'm gonna fold this under. This is gonna go oh, like that. Okay, there's actually a border around this, so that's good. That'll make it easier for us. Let's get our glue on this piece. I'll try to work some of that glue out to the edges. We want it to sit nice and flat. And then the inside. And again, nice and centered, nice even border all the way around. I'm going to nudge that up a tad. And over to the left. And that's good. Okay, just press. Get that down. If for some reason you have little areas that are not sitting nice and flush, you can always use the little painting method to get some glue in between these two layers and get them to stick nicely. Okay. There we go. And that really, really reinforces the bag too. It makes it nice and sturdy. Okay, so let's get this piece on here. Work that glue out to the edges. Okay. And I'm gonna pop that in and centered. Just keep a keep your eye on that border. Make sure it's nice and even all the way around. Okay. Give that a press. All right. That looks nice. Okay. So, uh, as far as the construction goes, what we're going to do so we're going to take these tabs here, these tabs, and then these tabs, and we're just going to glue them to the their neighbors, basically. So let's do that. Let's grab our, let me clean off my nozzle here. Grab our glue, hit the first tab here. Get that glue out to the very edge. Okay, bring this in, get it nice and aligned with that edge, and just press and squeeze. Make sure we get that nice and aligned. Okay, again, be conscious of the one that has the little slits. This is the one that does that. Because uh, there are two little overlays that are gonna go on top of this to close this up. Um, and the overlay, you don't wanna put that down until we have the little buckles on. Okay, so let's get our glue onto the little triangular tab on the other side. 
and line that up nicely. Give that a squeeze. You can also put it down on your surface if you want to use the leverage of having your table there. Okay, there we go. Nice clean contact there. And then let's close this up on the bottom here. Get your glue on the tab, work it out to the edge if possible. And close that up. Make sure you line it up nicely. And give that a squeeze. Just like that. All right, and last but not least, one more on this side here. This one's a little bit tougher to get into because we got, got it all pretty much constructed, but it's okay. Just use your glue nozzle to kind of spread that glue out to the very edge or get your finger in there, whatever works. Okay, and then just connect that with this piece here. Get it nice and aligned and squeeze and hold. I put way too much glue on there. You can see how it's slipping around when you get a lot of glue. It takes longer for it to start to get tacky and then it slips around. So I always try to minimize the amount of glue I use whenever possible. Okay. All right, so there's one half of this thing done. And again, I'm trying to remember yeah, that's the one that, that's where the handle uh, or the buckle is going to go. Okay, so this one gets the buckle. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to slide this in on one side. Pull that down. Um, one of these tabs is going to get glued to this actual tab here. And then the other tab is going to get glued to the inside. Okay, so um, you can see the little tab here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. So we're going to take a little bit of glue and put it on the inside top. Okay. And we're going to fold that down and press that up against this. It's, it's going up against the top here, but from the inside. Okay. And then we're going to take a little bit of glue and drop it on that and then glue that right onto this tab here. Okay. So ultimately, you're going to have one tab here that's essentially on this piece, but underneath and then one tab here. And you can see how nice that little buckle is going to look. Okay. So same thing with the other side here. Take this piece, slide it through that little slit. Okay. And then we're going to take a little bit of glue, just pop it right there just like that and fold that tab down. Just hold that in place for a minute. And then while we're doing that, you can take and just put a little drop here and fold that onto this tab. Okay. And then there's a little, there's a little buckles there. Okay. So those are ready for a handle. And to close this off, I'm going to take and we're going to glue this piece on. Okay. And it's probably a good idea just to start with one side. I'm going to start with the side with our little buckles here. Get your glue on there. You want to get this glue right out to the very edge. Careful in the areas that have our little gold pieces here. We don't want to, I want to get glue on those. All right. So grab this piece here and just match that up with the edge here, edge shear, edge shearing, edge shearing, edge here. Okay. Just press that down. Just make sure you got it nice and lined up. I got a little bit of glue that popped out of there, but that's all right. What are you going to do? Okay. And just give that a squeeze. You can actually push this down flat on your table like this, if that helps, I might need to go in and clean that up a little bit, but it's actually not that bad. Okay. So we can kind of pull this out of the way a little bit and let's get our glue on the remaining tabs here. And I do want to 
do a nice thin line right along the edge so that when we glue this down, it looks nice and seamless. Oops. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Clean off my fingers. And just, I would work the bottom here first, make sure that that gets nice and aligned. And just kind of squeeze the corners and then work my way up the rest of the perimeter on both sides. Here we go. And that is that. Okay. And that looks good. Now I would probably make sure that everything has good contact and you don't have anything lifting up if you happen to have any little areas lifting up that you feel like you want to fix you can do that using that little little paint method which i'll show you here let me grab a scrap show you how we do that just grab your grab a scrap piece of paper just paint a little bit of glue or just put a little bit of glue on one little side and find the little area that you think needs a little extra love that's kind of sticking up and just kind of nudge it in there. Just force it in there, paint a little glue in that section and just press down with your finger in that immediate area and just let that set. And it should look nice and flush and flat. Yep, that looks better. Okay, so there's one half. That's pretty much done. And as you can imagine, we're just going to do the same thing on the other side, except we don't need to worry about the little buckle pieces. So this is going to go a little bit quicker. Let's get our glue on the first triangular tab here. Get it lined up. Just make sure that it's lined up. Give it a squeeze. And I think that all of these bags um, I don't think any of them are difficult and they all have all been running about 35 40 minutes as far as construction goes you factor in cutting I think you can make something like this in about an hour or so um, so that is to me uh, well I think it's more efficient than trying to go to the store and finding something like this you're, first off you're not gonna find a gift box like this anywhere I can tell you that um, and for the cost, I think it's a steal. All right, so we got the other side here in place. Just be patient. Make sure that everything is holding nicely before you move on. All right, moving on to our little trapezoid tab here. Run that like that. Get it lined up. Nice and flush. Nice and aligned. And just squeeze that between your fingers. And just hold. There we go. And last but not least, our final little trapezoid here. Let's see if I can get my glue in there. And if you can't, here's another little tip. I mean, you can always, this doesn't have to be a way to fix things. It can be a way to apply glue. And you can really get it right out to the very edge there without making a huge mess. So you know, it's a helpful little tip. You can do it however you want to do it. There's no wrong way. Okay, so that is nice and lined up. I'm going to give that a few extra seconds. Seemed like that method actually put down more glue than I thought it would, which is okay. All right, so that is almost set. And we're ready to just pop this on. And then, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are... Almost done here. Okay. So just like we did the first time, I'm going to take and... Now you notice that I'm kind of s switching sides here, and that's because I don't want to start tugging on the other side while it's potentially still setting. I may as well work on a side that I know has had plenty of time to dry, so I'm not ripping things apart. Uh, so let's grab this tab here, get our glue on there, pop it right out to the very edge. Grab our little trapezoid piece, line it up nice and centered. Okay, 
Okay. Place it down nice and flush. And then we can kind of squeeze from the inside. Kind of using my other thumb here, this one, to feel to see how nice and aligned everything is. So far, so good. Okay. All right, so we can move this out of the way. And let's get our glue on the remaining tabs here so we can close this shape up. I'm going to get it on the main part of the tab here and then do a little bit of a small line right towards the bottom there, the very edge. And just spread that out nicely right up to the very edge. Okay, that looks good. Flare them out just a tad, bring it down. Close the trunk. And I'm working on this side here, opposite of the side that is already anchored. I think, I feel like just from experience doing that, if we get this side lined up, the other two sides kind of just fall into place more easily. Okay, and make that pie crust. There we go. All right. And that looks pretty good. Again, if you have some areas that are maybe sticking up because you just didn't get enough glue or didn't get the glue out to the very edges, uh, I've got, I've got a little section here that I just want to clean up a little bit. And I'm just going to stick that right in there. Like that. And believe it or not, that's plenty of glue for such a small little area. It'll hold it nicely. Okay. Well, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of join these two pieces together. We've got this section here, and you can see that there's a, a little score mark there. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue this right to the bottom on one of them. And we're going to glue the other one to the other side. And it's going to kind of keep everything together. Okay, so uh, first things first, though, what I would do is I would take both of these and just kind of place them onto this piece. Just make sure everything fits nicely. Looks like it does. Okay, so let's grab and let's get our glue on the bottom of this. Now, I want to make sure that I get glue out to the very edges of all four of these sides here. I don't want anything coming apart, coming undone here. Okay. There we go. Just like that. If you've got any spewing over, just clean it off. Okay, and just pop it on. Flip it over and just line it up nicely with the bottom. And just run your fingers along the edges. Make sure it's centered. Make sure it's nice and flush, nice and flat. Here we go. And you can, you can even push from the inside if you want. Get that. Nice and in place. Okay. All right, and then let's grab our other side here, get our glue on the bottom. And again, just make sure we're getting, getting that glue right to the very edges here. Just kind of painting it. Okay. Now just match this up. Make sure that the, the two sides are nice and flush up against each other. And there we go. Now we can flip this over or onto its side even. And just kind of press down. And 
just give that, give that a few seconds to set. Okay. And if you need to, just go in and throw a little extra glue in any of these little places where maybe it didn't get the best contact. And just give these little sections some extra love. Okay, that looks pretty good. I've got maybe one little seam here that I'm not totally in love with. I'll clean that up. Just throw a little glue on there. There we go. All right, so that's set, and you can see how that's going to open up now. So that's good. And um, now all that's left to do is get our, our little strap on here. Okay, and the strap is going to open up. Well, the larger side here is going to be the front. Okay, and we should have uh, we should have some little markers. We do on this side here. There's some little markers to help help you get this centered. Okay, so what we want to do? We don't want to glue anything on top. We don't want to glue anything on the front because we're going to use um, we're going to use a magnet to hold that in place. But we do want to glue the back on. Okay. And you just go ahead and take, take your glue and just get a good amount right here on the back of this smaller piece. Okay, let's flip this up. Let's make sure that it's nice and centered. So don't put that piece down yet. Get it nice and centered on your piece here. Make sure it's nice and flat at the top and then just push that back on the back. Okay, and just hold that for a few moments and let it set. go and um, that just leaves our little magnet and our handle and we're ready to go this thing's ready to rock okay there we go let's put our handle in place here and um, so this is gonna be our front what we're gonna do is just gonna feed this through the little buckles here okay and then this is just going to get glued to itself like so. Okay. So you know, what we could do at this point is, and I'm going to do this all in one fell swoop here. I'm going to put glue on the bottom part of the bottom of the handle here. Okay. I'm going to fold that over onto itself, but I'm also going to put glue here on the inside so I can just close this all up in one shot. And I want this to be in the back. So let's pop that in, fold this over, make sure it's centered, and then just glue it to itself. And just hold all that together in one shot like that. And again, this is going on foil. So if you're using standard glue, you may need to be a little more patient to let that dry. Okay, and my fingers are kind of my fingers are kind of sticky. So I was kind of pulling it off. I'm going to throw a little extra glue under here. And just be patient while that sets. Let me flip this around so you can see what the end result is starting to shape up and look like. Okay, so that looks great. Again, we're going to kind of adorn this with um, some rhinestones here in the corners. A rhinestone here on the front and then all that's left to do at this point is add our little magnet so that this thing can stay closed using magnetism. We're getting real fancy over here. All right, so here's our two magnets. Um, we've included some circular cutouts to kind of add to the magnet, like the face of the magnet, just to kind of um, give it a little cushion so that, the, well, in, my, in our case, the magnet was really strong. If you have a weak magnet, um, you don't have to use it. I mean, it would kind of look nice because we're adding the same color as the structure onto the magnet, okay? So that just kind of hides the fact that there's a magnet there if you want to do that. If you don't, you can leave the magnet exposed. Um, if your magnets are thinner but they're stronger, you can add more layers. If they're a different size, you may need to cut out a different size circle, okay? Because we cut it out based on our color, or our size, I should say. 
um, and that may be different than yours. So um, just FYI, something to, something to consider. Uh, but on the back of this piece here, you'll notice that there, there's a series of little score marks to help you with the placement of the magnet. Okay, so throw a little bit, of, I got a little bit of hot glue on here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and center it in that little area. Okay, so that's that. And then what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna throw a little more hot glue on the other side. I've got both magnets connected to each other. And then while the second magnet is still connected, I'm gonna just press that down so that that second magnet knows where to go. Just like that. Okay. And that should have already held. And there you go. Okay. So there is your other little purse. That's how it's going to open up. Perfect for a little gift. And uh, that's it. Take a look at the final photo. You can see where we kind of placed our little embellishments, rhinestones, and I think we, uh, yeah, we might have some pearls as well. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And if you make this our gold, silver, or copper evening bags, we'd love to see your version. So um, find us on Facebook in the official Dreaming Tree group. Join myself and the 10,000 plus other dreamers that inspire us daily. So thanks for hanging out with me and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.